Hi everyone, this is Brittany Bond and welcome back to the podcast. Today I'm super excited to share with you guys about our upcoming Vanilla Vanilla play party and to answer all of your questions and if you're interested to come to see if this is the right type of party for you to join. So what is a Vanilla Vanilla play party? Um, first off, I want to say that it's not an orgy. Um, this is the opposite of that. And the reason why I started these two years ago was I wanted to create a safe space for me and my friends to explore our sexuality and really bring like bring back like the innocence and the joy that comes with connecting to each other um, when we're able to feel safe enough to let our inner children come out to play, like those little inner kids and in all, all of us that just are super curious and they want to feel fully expressed. Um, and at the time I, d I didn't know how to do that in my everyday life. And when I was looking around at like some of these sexual scenes, I felt like a lot of them were, they just weren't on the same vibration of what I wanted. Like they seemed too dark for me. And I was like, is there a way that I can create this like super safe space that feels joyful and is light and airy and like, you know, soft and like sensual. And so this is what the play parties are. And they, we've been doing them every single month for two years um, on Copenhagen and here in Berlin. Um, so the next one that we have coming up is May 27th. And it's in Sch Schoenberg. I think I'm saying that wrong. In a yoga studio. Um, and we're going to be doing them monthly throughout the summer. So this uh, podcast is just sharing about what it's about. And if you want to join like more information on, on if you want to come and play with us. Um, so I'll just kind of paint the picture of like what happens, like, like the, if you come to one of our play parties. So, uh, you go through, everyone goes through an application process, which is, makes it a super safe space because I vet every single person. And I actually say no to a lot of people because we want to make sure that everyone's on the right vibration of first off, like, really safe vibration and like all coming with like heart open wanting to connect and yeah just w this is a community experience this is something I, I think is really important to say is like we go through it a lot of people come in and they don't know each other and by the end of it they're like friends for life you know because the way that we do everything is very community run and there's so much connection and heart to heart like real like seeing each other um, and I, and I love that. And cause that's like who I am. So after you get approved to come to the party, um, you, we have everyone arrive between like six and six thirty, And so it's a closed container. You can leave whenever you want to, but we feel it's really important to, um, have everyone drop in together and get onboarded with the information, um, so that we can have a safe space and also so that everyone can get juicy together and connect to each other in the beginning. So we have um, an introduction rounds where we have everyone say their name and, you know, like just like introduce themselves a little bit. And then we have boundaries and consent games. So this is kind of like to share the, the, like a safe, like creating a safe container, like sharing the boundaries of the, of the experience and then having everyone practice um, their own boundaries. So we'll have games where people can say, you know, like offer, just practice offering to interact with each other and then having us, you know, practice our no and, and also practice our yes. And, but doing it in a way where like, we're not yet interacting, we're just like practicing. And I think this is really important for all of us to have this, like this, like like they call it somatic experiencing where your body actually gets to experience like your yes and your no and to know what it feels like. Um, and then there's connection games also where you get to meet each other, you get to connect and, and like you can kind of start checking out the vibe of like who you're interested in. And then we do, we do a round of like getting to know each other where, you know, if you're interested in playing with men and women, you step into, if you know, if you're a woman and you're interested in playing with men, you step into the circle. And if you're a woman you're interested in playing with women, you step into the circle. And then we do the same for men where it's like, if you're a man and you're interested in playing with women, you step into the circle. And if you're, and then you step back and it's like, if you're a man and you're here and you're interested in playing with other men tonight, then you step into the circle. So this creates like a really safe space for all of us to like see each other and see what our interests are and what we're vibing on and, and what we're exploring in. And then something that I find to be really helpful is if you're coming and you're a couple, I have a lot of people who are interested that are couples that want to come and explore, you know, ethical non-monogamy, but it's like the first time that they've been in any space like this. And so they're like, ah, 
ah, like, what do I do? And um, so we have this really nice part of the intro round where we're like, if you are part of a, like a, any sort of partnership or coupleship and you want to share that with the group so that we can all honor and respect your boundaries, then this is a great place to do that now. So the people who um, either come, even if they're not with their partner, they can, if they want to, they can speak up any boundaries that they have, that they want to be honored in the group setting. And then if you come with your partner, you guys can introduce yourselves and just share with the group. And we have a lot of couples who come and they say like, you know, um, we, there's different variations of things that people say. Like one is, um, they come and they're like, I just want, we just want to play with each other. And we just want to like, you know, be in the energy of this really beautiful sexuality and sensuality, but we don't want to, um, but we don't want to play with other people. And so that's like really beautiful and that's like totally honored and everyone honors it. Um, and then another, another thing that people say is like, uh, we want to play with other people, but like, please take it slow. Like this is our first time we're doing this and we're not really sure how it's going to go. And so this is like so beautiful to have this be shared and then like have everyone honor and respect it because we really do. And this is why it's such a safe space because as a community, we want to make everyone feel like super, I keep saying like super safe, but it's true. It's like a lot of times we don't explore our sexuality because yeah, safety, at least for me is like a top priority. But what if we could create such a safe space that we were able to open up and feel that we could explore our sexuality in this really beautiful, juicy container with people that are, we're vibing with and that we want to go deeper with. Um, and, and some other stuff that people say if, when they're couples is like, well, yeah, we're coming together, but we want to play alone, like individually. And like, it's like everything is welcome and that's what's so beautiful and everything is honored and respected. Um, another thing to know is like, this is a very safe space for L LGBTQ souls. Um, so everyone this is such a gender fluid space and everyone is welcome to come play. And also this is a really beautiful space if you want to come and explore your sexuality um, with different genders and diff you know aliens, everything. Um, this is a really nice space to come and try everything. And, um, and again, like I was saying that this is a sober party because I see a lot of the scene here in Berlin is like, you know, I've been to Kit Kat and stuff and I see people coming and they just taking a lot of drugs. And I, I wonder how much you can connect with each other on a soul level when you are, yeah, on drugs, when you're high. Um, so that was one thing I wanted to create was like, what would it feel like in our bodies if we were to connect soberly and and to really be on this level with each other where it's like I see you and my heart is open and we are all vibing together in this really juicy space and what happens is when everyone is sober um and um and they're just totally vibing throughout the night like it actually feels we we joke that it feels like organic ecstasy because like everyone is getting on this such high vibration where they're just super excited to, you know, keep connecting, keep going deeper. And the, the parties usually end in like one big cuddle puddle at the end where we're like, okay, guys, we have to go. Like we need, they want us to go now. And everyone's like, no, we want to keep playing. We want to just keep connecting with each other. And a major thing of why these parties are so different from other sex parties that I have witnessed and been to or heard of is that there's no, this is, it's funny to be so direct, but this, there's no penile penetration. So like, what does that mean? It means like there's no penis and vagina or anal. And what I find really beautiful is that one, because this is a woman led play party, um, and two, because like you take like penetration off the table in that way, like oral sex is okay, but like no, no like penis in anything. Um, our programming that we have around like sexuality, a lot of us is programmed through like porn, like being raised watching porn. And there's so much focus on um, the male orgasm. And in these play parties that I organize, there's so much focus organically on the female orgasm because 
there's no there's no destination there's no like okay you know like the male orgasm like we need to go and then this is the end it's like it's very flowy we can go and keep going for hours and hours and it's just so beautiful (laughs) like I love it and I feel so empowered and this is something that I always say in the beginning of the party is, is I want everyone to leave feeling really empowered safe and sexy so if you leave feeling those three things empowered safe and sexy then I have it's like mission accomplished for me like I have accomplished my mission and I really do feel that I'm doing these like in service to the world because I feel that it's like one of the biggest rebellious acts that we can do especially as women is to reclaim our, our sexuality and to be empowered in our sexuality and to be fully expressed in our sexuality um so when we have like a group of like you know 45 to 60 of us just going for it and having such a good time and such a vibey party and everyone's like dressed up and whatever feels good for them like some people ask like what do I wear at the party and it's like I I personally am going to be wearing lingerie because that makes me feel really sexy but I invite everyone to wear whatever feels good for them in their body so it can be everything but I always say like naked is just naked so and you throw out the party people eventually, you know, some of them get naked and it's like, that's great. We honor the experience. Um, another thing I, I love to say is that um, watching is also participating if it's done in the in the energy of honoring the experience. So like a lot of people come and they they're a little bit shy. They're like they're like eager to play and they want to connect but they're also a little bit shy. Like we're all nervous and excited when we come into these spaces, even for me, because every time it's different. Um, and then when you're, when you're able to just be given permission to like watch and just allow your body to drop in and to see and feel how the experience is and also learn from like what other people are doing. Like, wow, I didn't know that that was, you know, that was a thing. That's exciting. I want to try that. And we have different rooms like we we have the yoga studio set up in like different spaces. So we'll have like one area that's like for shibari and like different kinky stuff that you can try. And then one area that's for massages and cuddling. And then one area that's like a sensual feeding area where you can like we have like different pieces of fruits and and you can like feed each other sensually and and just really drop into the experience and enjoy all of the sensual things that you can, which is so amazing. And then um, we have a tea room where everyone can come and like take a break and drink some tea. We'll have some vegan food there that you can snack on and connect to each other as as a community. And I always encourage people to say like, if you see someone in the tea room and you guys sit down and you're both drinking tea, like ask each other, how's the experience going for you? You know, because I always joke, it's like one big experiment that we are going through together. And it's so beautiful to connect to each other throughout the experiment not just when we're like in the play area so we do like one hour in the beginning of open we do one hour of beginning of like facilitation and then it goes into open play and like I was saying we have different areas that you can try and you can also just sit back and watch or you know you can just dance we'll have like music going like really nice music and sensual and candles and it's just super vibey it's like the most vibey party that you can experience and super sexy and safe and so many people that go through this experience like hundreds we have hundreds and hundreds of people who have gone through you know we do these every month for two years now and they say that there's like a before and after like before the party and then after the party because when you realize that you can allow yourself to be fully expressed in your sexuality and like celebrate it in such a joyful and innocent way it unlocks things in your whole life. It's like the next day when you're going through your normal life, you're like, wow, that happened last night. That was amazing. And how much more can I be like fully expressed in my everyday life? Like what else can I go after that I was holding myself back in? And now that I feel more empowered, how can I go after these things and, you know, really go for what I really love in my life? So Ooh, it's so it's so juicy and so fun and I and I just get so excited about them so um 
if you've never been to a play party before, um, you're still you're still totally qualified to come. The things that we ask is just that you come with an open heart and a warm vibe, and you're like ready to play. You know, you're you're even if you're nervous, you're just like I'm coming with the intention to play and and to drop in and to be part of the community. Um, so I would love for all of you guys who are interested to reach out. You can reach out to me on Instagram at Brittany Bond. Um, and go through the application process and like I was saying the next party that we have is the 27th of May and it starts at 6 p.m and it's 55 euros to join so I would love for all of you guys to come and yeah just reach out to me oh and we're going to be doing a lot more this summer so I'm I'm most likely going to be doing them like every month. We're going to be doing a retreat next month in Austria and a couple other stuff happening. But every Friday we have a meetup in Gleisdale Park. I feel like I'm saying all these names wrong for the parks. I don't speak German. Um, but you can reach out to me on Instagram. We have a we have a, a meetup group for our meetups. We do them on Tuesdays, Fridays. Those are free meetups in the park. And then... Um, we also have a, a group for the Vanilla Vanilla Play Party, so you can get all the announcements of that. And then we have a, a retreat happening in Austria next month. So, so many fun, juicy things in the community. And this is Brittany Bond. I'm so excited for you guys to join us. And yeah, just reach out if you have more questions. And whatever you do, I just hope that you feel really empowered and juicy and dropped into your body and fully expressed in your sexuality because this is what we're here for. (laughs) Okay, have a beautiful day.